Victorio Edades was a national artist for painting and he was born on December 23, 1895 and died on March 7, 1985. Victorio Edades became known as the father of modern Philippine painting after painting distorted human figures in rough, bold and pasto strokes and standing proud and alone in his advocacy and practice of what he claims is the artistic art. And he was also the pioneer in modernism in the Philippine art scene. Victorio Edades' colors were dark and ominous, with subject matter or themes representing laborers, factory workers, or common citizens in all their dirt, sweat, and filth. Victoria Adades became Dean of the Department of Architecture at the University of Santo Tomas in the 1930s, a position he held for three decades. During this time, he developed a liberal arts program that includes subjects such as art history and foreign languages and leads to a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. This was a first in Philippine education as art schools were previously just vocational schools. Among his works are the following. The sketch, in 1928, painted on oil canvas at 96 by 117 cm. Japanese girl, in 1928, painted oil in canvas at 46 by 38.5 cm. Market scene, in 1920, painted oil in wood at 59.5 by 85 cm. Mora Girl, in 1950, painted oil in canvas at 95.5 by 75.5 cm. The Builders, in 1928, painted oil in wood at 121 by 322 cm. And The Wrestlers, in 1927, painted oil in canvas at 60 by 45 cm. An additional information in the life of Victorio Edades, he led the revolutionary 13 moderns who engaged their classical compatriots in heated debate over the nature and function of art. He was named as a national artist in 1976. Victorio Edades managed to destroy the conventions of domestic art by bringing new concepts into the Philippine art scene, as well as the cliché philosophy that he believed stifled the growth of Philippine art. His rejection of the conservatives' definition of art was a deliberate call for genuine creative expression. Art is often the manifestation of man's emotion and not just a photographic likeness of nature, he said. Thus, to convey his individual emotion, the artist is privileged to produce in that distinctive form that best interprets his own experience. And the distortion of plastic elements of art, such as line, mass, and color, is one of the many forms of expressing one's rhythmic form. It was for this reason that he produced his disproportionate figures for the sake of composition.